Smith in a minute too. A bit of a career highlight. That's a big shout early. She's well down the track though, is Beaumont. And that is what might have just saved her. Again, doesn't come out of a crease, but it's been hit through the field with a lot of power. I think that was Finch last night, I think. Oh, it goes across the line. It's a poor delivery, and Beams gets a wicket in her first over. The stand-in captain has come through with the breakthrough of Tammy Beaumont. Strike. Full and with some width, and she's got it through the infield, has Charlotte Edwards. And as we can see there through the offside, the ground is running very well here at the end. I what team it was. It's in the air and it's dropped. Well, the fielding from the Melbourne Stars has not been on song this morning. That's Gemma Triscari. Big, thick outside edge and it's going to race away to the third boundary. Well, a lot, that's for sure. And that's Siver. Well, across the line, that's got to be close. It has to be given. It is. Charlotte Edwards knew it straight away and she was running down the wicket to look for a leg by. She thought, I might just keep running off the ground because I've played across the line. Most exciting young players going around. And that's across the line too. I'd give that a shout. And it's been given. Well, Talia McGrath, you might want to have a look at the replay because I think you've got outside off stump. Over the wicket to Divine. She's going big on this occasion. And that's the second one down. Oh, Divine goes with the big... And it's been dropped again. Would you believe it? Here out. Oh, and that's what a through. great shot. <laughs> Just to rub salt in the wounds. Famous last words, I know, but the drop catch. Well, and she's got hold of that. Is it going to go all the way? It's not. It's going to find Katie Mack, the fielder. She tried to hit herself out of it. And all she's managed to do is get herself out. And she goes in the air, and it's a good catch. Finally. One of the Melbourne Stars fielders hangs on to it and it's the skipper of the day, Kristen Beams. And she doesn't miss many, does Kristen Beams. She's good in the field. There's a big shout and is given the first LBW from the southern stand end and it goes to Kristen Beams, the skipper. The Stars v Strikers. Oh, that's got to be close as well. There you go. Kristen Beams is on a hat trick. She's been in this situation before. She's taken one for the Vic Spirit. That's a good comeback delivery. There's a shot of two. That's really well judged. Almost. No, it's not. Yeah. She goes to the offside herself and paddles it to the onside and there it is the much needed boundary that we've been talking about has finally been chalked up by Bridget Patterson probably the pick of them oh a little tickle on this one this is going to go down to the fine leg boundary and a little just a little flurry here from the Adelaide Strikers in the last couple of overs Scurry again around the wicket full straight and Emma Ingalls does the tidying up wicket taken stumped by Ingalls bowled by Triscari Big ball. See, and maybe there's just a lot more of those kinds of shots going on yep. in the women's game and not just a lot of stand and deliver. So disappointment there for Emma Ingalls as on the last ball there is a bias. So the keeper doesn't have a clean sheet, which is unfortunate because we hadn't even really noticed her right throughout the game, which is generally a pretty good sign that the keeper's been in play. Oh, there's a shout early. That is very close. It's given the perfect start for the Adelaide Strikers. It's Jess Cameron playing across her pad. Megan Shute gets a LBW. Jason Gillespie, Billy Stanlake. Width on this occasion, and it's been put away. Good start here by Jensen. You can put your glasses down. That will go all the way to the boundary. And it's oh, nicely played shot. off the front foot. Beautiful timing. Fantastic placement. And Jensen is away. Oh, outside edge. It's gone past Tegan McFarlane. It's going to race away across this ground for a boundary. And now, has the horse bolted? Well, we've seen it so many times, haven't we? There's a wicket taking opportunity, and then a boundary comes off the next ball. Still in this match. 
as Ingalls goes through the offside, this time along the ground, and picks up another boundary. To the stand to distract the oh, seagulls. Here. And that's it's gone, it's gone. There we go. Sophie Devine in the covers has picked the ball up exceptionally well. It was f- firmly driven. There was a communication mix up between Jensen to third. Emma Eagles goes, why am I bothering with the dab when I can just hit so beautifully well straight? Shorter and flatter. And on the third attempt, she gets it through that area. It's nicely timed and it's back-to-back boundaries. Three fielders out. Oh, that's well bowled. Not a lot of interest behind the wicket. Well, that's what she was doing there. It's bolder. Just as we said, the strike bowler, the key bowler for the Adelaide strikers, Megan Shute into her last over. Across the pad, (laughs) but a very nicely timed shot from Nat Siver. Wider on the crease on this occasion. Sweep shot gets past McFarlane. It's gone very fine, and they can give that chase up. It's through her, and there we go. Tegan McFarlane has got the stumping, and it's the wicket that we spoke about, the key one. Amanda Wellington finished with a dot on her last. That's a full toss. That's going to get put away. There's a bit of work to be done on the boundary, and you're looking up. You're already thinking, right, can I get another one? Full toss hits to a favoured area of hers in Katie Mack, and it goes through the mid-wicket boundary. Nitschke, flat, wide. Would have been wide. But Katie Mack decided, runs. oh, don't worry about it. I can hit it for four. Under a belt. Full toss, and it's been dispatched. Field is up, and Katie Mack again puts away the poor delivery. Goes big, does Anna Lanning. She hits that very, very nicely and brings up the win for the Stars with a boundary. Good support here at the MCG for the Melbourne Stars. They're back on the winning trail here.